You know yeah. what I mean? This is something you represent. This is you. You're yep. part of this. It's not mine. It's not yours. It's ours. Which is good. But ultimately, at the end of the day, if you guys want to put your foot down, or if the council want to put their foot down, then we, they are yeah. fully aware that we can. However, uh, yeah. afterwards, if they want to talk about it, they can still talk about it without getting fucking yeah. slammed into the ground. Yeah. I think it's better that way because that was the one thing I hate about the Vagos was like they were supposed to be a family but it was not it was a tyranny you know and and and, and the thing is like you didn't feel like you were like you were part of it but you didn't feel like you owned it you know what I mean you you were just a pawn I was gonna say you feel like a chess piece yeah. yeah you were a chess piece basically in a big fucking board where mm. Like, you felt sometimes you were the mercenaries for, like, Speedy's friends, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, but then again, you know, like, Speedy taught me a lot, and I learned a lot from him, you know, because I, he has a lot of good traits as well, you know, that he teaches us, but he had some flaws as well, but who doesn't? Yeah, but sometimes you can learn a lot from those flaws, though, right? Yeah. You learn know, a you lot, do, lot about do. not being, the, the like, that kind of a way. Yeah. In my vision, you know, like uh, everybody who's wearing a CSAC chain and have a flag on, you know, this is yours. Mm. This is ours. The hierarchy is just there, you know, to comprehend if shit goes, you know, that shit crazy. Yeah. Yeah, one of the boys, I can't remember. I have to go back through my fucking notes at some point. Jesus. Um, said that, uh, they didn't like that anyone who's a full member gets a chain because they wanted to work towards getting theirs and mm -hmm. I, I said to them the fact that you've gotten into seaside is the reason why you have the right to do wear that chain it's not the fact that you've got to do something extra and the chain's a goal we don't want the chain to be a fucking goal we want you to understand that once you're in you're in we don't need you yep. to to complete some other subtask for us so you can actually get a, a little bit better standing in our eyes you get in you get the flag you get the chain it, it yeah. comes as a whole because you've actually been able to get to that point yeah agree with that i feel like every, every every aspect of you should be tested before you get the flag on when you get the flag you're in it, yeah. you shouldn't be able to do anything else you know you're there your Hello, you Oh my Yuki. gosh, you are awake. I have your food delivery. Uh, it's all right. I'm coming back to Hayes right now. Okay. I, I I saw your message pop up, but I've been driving. I went all the way up to Polito. I will be there shortly. All right. See Thank you. you. Soon. Goodbye. Uh, Do we know how the name change process is going? Uh, he said that it's still in the government's hands. You're talking about OOC, yeah? Yeah, and Bash Talent in yeah. Yeah, it's still in the government's hands, uh, as you said today. Yeah, is it sure that they are doing something about it, though? Because I talked to Mari, and she cannot see anything, but I told Mari that, you know, Andy's on it, so I don't know. Give me one sec. All right, little KJ. I, I have a gift for you, and you need to take What's them. What's the gift? Okay. All right. I like gifts. Yeah, I'm not sure. There you go. Okay. Yeah. What? Hold on, let me get wow. Go Do these actually work? Huh? Oh, there you go, well, Thank you. Only one way to find out. Uh, yes, they actually work. Do I, do I gotta take? Uh, yes. Do I gotta take them with anything? Thank you. Uh, if you have a drink, take it with a drink. We'll wash it down. Did okay. you get him diet pills? Uh, I'm not telling you what I just got him. Oh! Oh! My fucking oh, shoes! Yeah. My shoes! <laughs> the fuck? That's the way. Purge it out. Oh my god. Hello, Kendrick. I need a bev. I need a bev. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kendrick, oh. no. Oh. That hurts. I don't think I can take another one. No, you don't need to take them all now. Take another one in an hour. In an hour? Yeah. You said in an hour? Yeah, one hour. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. 
You, you, you won't have to worry about anything for uh, once you're all done. Just trust really? me. Turbo yeah. now owns a Chebby. Oh my god. You gotta get this from Draco then. Oh, hey, don't worry. Hey, I've hey, got hey, plenty hey. for all the boys. Oh my goodness. Alright. So, so that that's also it will help as an app or appetite suppressant so you won't keep wanting to shovel food in your mouth. Really? Yeah. Oh my god, I'm excited. Yeah, you'll be you'll be in tip top shape in no time. Oh my god. Thank yeah. you, Reggie. No worries. Uh, courtesy of uh, Nexus Pharmaceutical. Oh my gosh. Yep. Donut, I'm gonna be skinny again. Ricky. Don't go from Big Deagle to Lil Glock. Talk about your gun on your chest or your stomach. What's up, KJ? How you doing, bro? Yo, what's good? What's, what's up, good? KJ? Good morning, good morning. Good morning, bro. You need some food, guys? Because I have a lot. I, my pockets are completely right. full with food and stuff. Thank you, though. Okay. I got a lot of food my pockets too. are completely full of notes. <laughs> yes, listen, I, I have asked Michael to see if he, he can find me an office supply binder. Okay. So yeah, just, I don't know, leave them in your trunk for a while. Don't lose them, though. You, you're doing great work, Dom. Uh-huh. I just saw a massive you shootout near the There you go, Dom. <laughs> Thank you, pay? You saw a massive shootout where? A uh, new rooster's reef, and there's like a lot of cops and guys blacked oh, out, like six oh, there was a people police chase blacked going out. Whilst I was doing do dodo. Oh no. Uh. Okay. I didn't want to hear that, but sure. <laughs> Maybe I should go pick up my G wagon. Yeah, probably. I'll need it a little bit, probably. How are you feeling, little KJ? Oh, I feel a little lightheaded. Do you feel hungry? Not really, actually. Good shit. Ooh, that's different from yesterday. Yeah, I know. Usually I would be all over that food, but. Yeah, usually I feed you guys. Yeah. Yeah, there's probably some of the boys that you shouldn't be feeding so much. Yeah, Fredo, for <laughs> the example. <laughs> Keon, try being another one. <laughs> yeah, apparently. it's all right. It's all right. I, I have a, a solution for that problem. Don't you worry. Oh, yeah, okay. go for it. <sighs> Are we going to make them all do the pace of fit test? No. <laughs> no. 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 I, 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 I see which one has a heart attack first. I have a little tablet for them. Listen. Oh, we're putting them on drugs. Okay. Well, not drugs. They were drugs per se. I told Terry that finally his belly matches his cheeks, okay, on his face. This is the same size now. How did he not go for <laughs> runs after like... that? Listen, uh, he's used to it for this time. Jesus. His cheeks are his trademark, you know? <laughs> yeah. Just storing nuts and stuff. I guess yeah. he really does look like Theodore now. He do. Uh, well, little KJ, oh, you, you keep them up, like God. I said, uh, once okay. an hour. Once All an right. Hour, yep. got it. Uh, you'll be golden, don't you worry. No. Why? Okay, we'll do. All right. Uh, if you I'm feel sorry, feel lightheaded or, or tired or anything, just have a little bit of a rest on the couch inside. Okay. I don't need this right now, man. All right. Uh, and <laughs> also, don't decide to stock yourself up on warm clothes uh, because of the tablets. Uh, it's going to heat up your... your um, your body, you'll run a little bit hotter than normal, okay? So right, I don't want you melting right, and no sweating gotcha. your life away, yeah? All right. Will do. Thank Fuck. you. Good shit. See, this is easier than making you run around the block all the time. Yeah, I know. I don't want to do that ever again. All right. Well, that's us done. Have fun. Enjoy yourselves. Goodbye. Bye. Take me to the fucking barber shop. I'm gonna Have fucking cut day. this off. I'm fucking. I'm done. Oh, you you going bald? Yeah. All I'm right. Not bald, boss.
Buzz cut? All right. What? But hey, back to the conversation we had, you know, before you dropped me off, like with the... What did you say with the Miguel stuff? Was it that you were selling stuff or...? Uh, I think his words were keep giving stuff to Russ and really? you'll find out or something. I can't remember the rest uh, of keep it. Giving gun, yeah, keep giving guns to Russ and see what happens. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, but we're not giving, we're selling. I, he was complaining because he read uh, fucking Ray's phone and that kind of shit. So, fuck me. Oh my god. Yeah, I don't understand. Well, I don't care. Empty threats. Uh, it's probably. If, if he's being it's... dumb about, you know, selling guns to people just because they're at war, then what? Yeah, what can you do, man? I, I don't know. I guess they will just want to control everything, you know? dollars for a haircut that's that's cheap as fuck well i guess it's just bossing it off should cost that much i was gonna say if you charge any more that'll be an issue yeah all right goodbye here again hey, you're looking good though yeah i don't uh, the, the blonde doesn't it's clashing too hard Maybe if I wore normal clothing, it could work, but it, white hair just works better with black and white clothing, you know? Yeah. Right. Is there anything else though, or everything is like kind of fine? Uh, I think everything else is fine. A Bailey and Donut are doing whatever they're doing. But apparently, you ready for this tea? What? Um, Bailey sent a message to Donut with Bailey's ex's name in it a couple of times. And uh, Nigel told Donut that uh, Nomad was in uh, Donut's house, where, where, where Bailey is as well apparently, and wrote Nomad was, he was here with a smiley face. Ooh. Uh, that's some juicy no, man. Tea, that's the racer, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, the no, racer. Yeah. Apparently something might be happening there again. And uh we told Donut that if uh Bailey ever joins Seaside, Donut's not gonna be a full member until Bailey is. What is that? Basically, we don't want them both to be together and being hang around in the game. I see too many issues with that. That leads me to then believe is Bailey there because her boyfriend is a hang around for Seaside, or did Bailey use Donut to get closer to Seaside? Hmm, the thing of the tension. Okay, okay. But then, if it comes to a time where uh, if one of them doesn't make it, then what happens? I would rather that just not happen at all. Well, I can tell you this much. So far, Donut is uh, fucking maybe one of the greatest fucking hangarounds we had in a long time. Oh yeah, Donut's been very solid. I could tell that he's from solid. when I had to talk to him. When he does stuff, he's solid. When we tell him to do stuff, he doesn't bitch about it. He just go and do it. Yep. And if you're asking somebody to do something for you, he always stretch out the arms and said, hey, I can go and do it. He also um, passed the Michael test. Right? Yeah. Apparently he hates Norway. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, hate Norway? Yeah. Cool. Huh? You hate Norway? Do I hate Norway? No, I don't, I don't have an issue. With no, Norway. Donut does. 
Remember you said he passed the Michael test. Yeah. Are you saying that, that people should say no, they don't hate Norway? I don't know if they have a reason to die. Well, well of course, it, it, it might probably test, hate the country you tried to conquer, but never were able to do it, you know? Probably. What are you going to say, Michael, in your test, what? I, I was just going to say, it's better that he says he hates Norway than he ha hates Denmark when it comes to my test, so. Hmm. Keep yeah, that in mind. Yeah. I heard this guy was uh, a little bit more from the south, though, you know, Sweden, so I wonder. Yeah, that's why he's a, he's a fake Swede. Yeah. But like the Swede like to call it a fake Dane. Yeah, maybe. Kind of like in between. That red light's way too long. Yeah, other than that, not much that else has happened today. Been more of a business talk and chill day. Boys are doing a meth it. run. By the sounds of it, they got into a shootout again, so... Yeah, oh. but the good thing about it, we got one run delivered. Yes, yes, that's true. We, uh, Rust is already paying up on their end. Yup. Which is good to see. They're very quick about it as well. I was very surprised that they already fucking did it. Yeah. I was expecting it to be more next week than as the whole war thing, but that's, that's yeah, good to Yeah, I was expecting like two weeks, you know, they yeah. would probably, you know, want to make your own money a little bit up first. Yeah. So, like, I, I wasn't going to spit chips, and I don't think any of us were going to spit chips if they were a little bit, um, a little bit late on the first one. The no, whole no, war no, thing's no. happening, but, oh, it turns out... Uh, they weren't going to let it slide and they just still did it, which is good to see. Be a Michael, you see the hot dog stand in front of you? Uh, yeah. That's where I want, you know, to serve coffee and hot dog. Yeah, that could work. Hey, Reggie, when you have like 50 notes in your pocket, how do you know which note is what? You don't. Oh, so you're you have to guessing. open every single one, yep. Interesting. What? I mean, if, if there was a, a way that we could label the notes, it would be much easier. But yes, the, you have five notes. You've just got to uh, random pick which one is the one that you think it is. Note of what? Like just from a notebook when you take Any a note. note. Yeah. Oh, from a notebook? Yeah. Yeah, I wish it was like with the notebook stuff as well i wish there was a kind of like a bender or yeah binder that's you know, what i spoke to binder. michael about yo but i talked to eve about that and she tried back in the days to submit something about that but it seemed like it was impossible I'm... she already were ahead of that because somebody came up to me i think it we probably possible if we could do like a, a title of the note or something i just don't know how hard that would be what if you do what a title right. i'm going to uh, like a bed. label Hello, good, good night, night pa good night yeah you know how you yeah. have like sticky notes and you put it at the top and uh, this is the note about this or if you have a camera where you can take like a, a picture of, you know, your own note and just put it in the binder. That's 20 characters, yeah. I think coding wise. I guess, you know, it's not the biggest issue. Because it would be coding wise, note produced with title of X. And you'd have like a separate field to write a title in it. Right. So there's nothing yeah. that's urgent to like be that. done or anything no. business wise or nothing. No, right. nothing. A big chill. Oh, we also got. Uh, we got the money from Russ today. Oh, we did? Yeah, 700, 700k plus the. Uh, I think it was 700k or maybe it was 800. I can't. Something like that. Um, with, um, Money for what? Uh, their order. Yeah, but their order was like over a mil. Uh, I wasn't done. And, um, 
Perez gave us uh, 200k in um, things bags, but they're not done yet. Oh. So Benji has them in his apartment. All right, right. So they paid up basically, and he's good with it. Okay. I don't know if they paid up fully or what. Um, because I did. I wasn't. Oh, but they had like a track. Yeah. Track of it. Yeah. Then I guess it's only Vargas who's left then. The speed run. Speed run. Probably. Bison. You never want to do a weed run in that car though. Uh, slides too much. No, that's not the issue. The issue is like you have your box on the plat there, you know. So oh yeah, it's the open trunk so they seat. can yeah, steer into it. Yeah. I think I taught you that ages ago. Yeah. Michael, are you aware of open watch. trunk? Huh? You open about uh, are you aware about like plain sight? The law for that? Plain sight doctrine. So so essentially if the police were to walk up to say you having a bison, they can they can peer over the side because it's open, right? Your trunk is open. Um mm -hmm. and, and have a look to see if you've got anything that's illegal there. Legally they can do that because it's in plain sight. Right. Yep. Oh. But if you have a box there and you have whatever you have illegal inside the box, they cannot go inside the box, you know? Correct. They can just mm -hmm. look at the box. Well, they see is a box, which, but they can't open. Well, yeah, which makes sense. Makes yeah. sense, but a lot of people aren't aware of this. Also, sometimes your trunk is open, you know. Yeah. Without you knowing. Yeah, but like, it's a, it's a little bit different, right? Like, if it was more like uh, this, you, yeah, you can kind of see what's in it, but it doesn't really hold its weight as what it does for a um like a bison like a, a bed of a truck hey michael you're on the board with the with the run the oil comp oil shed mm, yeah yeah nick is a shut up Nick is? Oh. I don't think so. I thought he said so. Uh, no. Oh, he's not? No. I thought he said so. That's why he was fucking... Or maybe he was doing some work for them, maybe. Mm. With the Marabunta stuff, you know? I am born with OOC toxicity. With the, with the oil company. Yeah. I am so I fucking tired right now. The board bud. Okay, so you are. Yeah. How hard is it to get like a meeting with you know the like Ron Oil or those guys up there? Uh, it's like playing the lottery. You know, you know, Serge is the CEO, right? Serge Price. Yeah. Maybe I should talk to him then. Yeah, he's the CEO. We, technically, we are renting the uh, the gas station. You know, we're paying we're paying money every month you know to be able to run shit down there mm -hmm. then again i i have some like I, I need to talk to them because i'm trying to look i'm trying to see how i can get more people employed to the gas station and do different work down there but then again it's it's not good if you're just standing around you know doing yeah. nothing like yeah they can fill up your car but that's it you know i've been looking into this um idea of like having a power washer you can clean your car gold hoarders rep what the fuck then again i need to talk to them you know because we're renting the place so i need to talk to I, them to see if this i is woke up at fucking 7 30 a.m today i'm mm -hmm. fucking tired you can man try cross. i don't know i think it's a yeah, i can probably of... talk to the cross business... and see yeah it's probably a combination of business proposal and some other stuff i don't know yeah probably probably So you reckon the boys all got caught? Probably. Probably. Yeah. I feel like when you're doing this runs, you know, you need to do them almost like every week to get the hang of it. Yeah. 
you will fail a couple of times you know and then you will learn i had a big talk with um right i've given him a task to look for different places up north to do shootouts instead of doing everything in the city because then you what drag the, you drag the cops up north and their response time for the additional units is very low oh, oh sorry your response time is very high so you've got a lower chance of having to deal with a whole fuckload of cops when you can just shake the couple that'll be on you yeah the problem with north is like it's very few places you can do it because of the area you're doing it in and then again you have like the sandy shore police department as well with the bpso yeah but a lot of the a lot of the bcso are always fucking down here in the city so it's to me doing it up there if you have to do it is giving you a higher chance to not have to try and wipe the whole PD. Instead, you just get rid of the units that are on you and dip. Mm. So a higher chance of a hit and dip instead of fucking trying to bunker down and next thing you're fucking fighting the whole of PD for the next fucking like, hour. Yeah, it's something you can try, but I feel like every time we got into something with the cops, we always, you know, have a better chance in the city if you find like a better high ground place where we can do shit i gave him the idea of the road that goes towards the lighthouse there's a blind corner there with a ditch to the side where people can hide their cars and that have people on the bridge above and on the hills as well as on the sides of the road should be enough to clear all the units fuck off onto the um dirt road and dip out of there it's yeah. a huge problem that i've noticed from the boys is air one Air one is always a problem. But if you drag them up north, chances are air one's gonna stay down south. That no. gives you that little bit of a chance. The only chance you have if the air one is going to fuel. Well, that's that's the point though, right? We we drag air one up north to run it out of fuel. Yeah, but then you can go to Sandy and fuel. So yeah. it's kinda like And then that gives you that window, it does right? Matter, like, depends on how you look at it and how you want it if you're thinking about like additional units that are patrolling the city will have a longer response time and you're able to do your thing quick and get out of there but usually yeah you need to find a good place to do it at the same time like biggest problem is usually air one because they if if, if you spread the boys or out you will have the air one picking them off one by one yeah. I said cop cars parked and then there's people over there just checking their fucking tablet. Where? To the right of us? Um, because Wait, the situation the situation will be over. Hmm. I'm guessing they've already shot all the boys down if there's a GTR there. Yeah, still pack. I um, think it would be a good thing, you know, to have like a couple of spots, you know. Yeah. That you that you can like. I, I think the biggest issue with us is always being. I don't open kind of home like today being, for the on the. Just pick a spot and at the do moment, that, yeah. you know. Well, um, that that's what I said to him. Drop right? the guy off and do that, you know, yes. when you're S plus boost, basically. Yes. Like, don't 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 wiggle around. Don't say, "Hey, I'm gonna try something," or "Hey, yes. I'm gonna do this." No, go and put this guy off and do what the fuck you want to do afterwards. Yep, hundred percent. Like, that, that's what I said. Um, I said it to Benji. I said you need to start actually dropping off the the hacker because you have always had a really bad issue with dropping off your hacker. Yeah. Like even back when I used to do it with him. He was terrible at dropping off hackers because he just wanted uh, to yeah. keep driving yeah because he kind of like get an idea in the middle of when we are getting ready to pick that guy up and if you get the hacker he can go and put away whatever he needs you yep. know of his and then you've got another person another on the road car out. yep yeah and then the other problem is like it's kind of like do something and stick with it instead of like changing it on the spot yep. basically we're, exactly we're good we're good if we pick a spot it doesn't matter how bad or good the spot is if you just yeah. pick a spot everybody knows about the spot we go there we get ready 
And then you know you have you a fucking scatterbrain. Yeah, but it, it's less. Like, oh, less now we change it. We go that. there instead. Yes, exactly. So, um, I, I said that to Fredo. Is uh, is if one of us in the council puts you in charge for this shit, I don't give a fuck about what call you make. You make a call and you tell them to shut the fuck up and you listen because you're the one that's been put in charge for this. So, sure. like, usually when it comes to these things, Michael, it's not really Benji that's the issue. It's everyone else that wants to have their fucking two cents in the moment and say something about, oh, well, what about this place? What about this place? And Benji's too busy driving around trying to work out where he's being told to go. And I also said to Fredo is if Benji's not panicking on the radio and yelling and screaming, shit's already gone sideways because he only panics and screams on the radio uh, when everything's all going nice and smooth and he's got that downtime. So he, he fucking does his normal shit. When it's all quiet and that kind of shit, it's usually because everyone's fucking arguing about what to do, where to go, and all that shit. The best shootouts we had with the cops lately is the 2S plus booster when we got one car stuck or we got one car fucking uh, spiked. Yeah. Basically, what, basically, what we did is like, okay, that will be the area where we need to do our job. We go and pick up the people from the cars, we go out again, and then we reset and we go in again, you know, and hmm. kind of like come from different direction. When we are in the circle of we are in the middle and the cops are around us, we have a way harder time to, you know, comprehend. Yeah. So basically what we should do is like we should pick a spot where, for example, if you're doing a meth run, you drive your car into the middle of the spot. Let the cops go into the spot towards the car, let them hold out and have the rest of the boys come from the outside in. Kind of like, uh, yeah, you're ambushing the ambush, per se. Yeah. I think Fredo is good from that talk and understood everything that I was saying to him. Because it wasn't me yelling at him or anything like that. It was just me saying, this is why these things happen and this is what you need to do to rectify those things from happening. Mm -hmm. You remember when we did the S plus, you heard the radio there, there was so much comps until fucking Fredo said, everybody shut up, listen to me now. Yep. The day before when I did the S plus with Draco and um, and uh, and Nigel, they were running the shit. Everybody else was quiet. We were not yelling, we we're not asking, we we're not questioning. Mm. They said, we do this, we followed it. We didn't question. Everybody was just listening to what they were saying, giving info where we saw cops and everything was quiet. It was way better. And it's usually when you have the, those times are usually when Benji is around panicking, being a panic Andy, just because um, everything's going yes. smooth and it's what he does. Sometimes, but at the same time, everybody knows Benji is the leader and they will listen to him. You know what I mean? But I think it's like before you start the thing, like before we started, we said, you know, Fredo will listen to you. Yeah. Uh, we said, you know, if the car gets stuck, uh, we pick up the boys, we reset, we go back to get it. And Fredo kind of like yelled and said, everybody shut the fuck up. Everybody listen because we all already agreed to it. If we don't yeah. do that, people will listen to Reggie or they will listen to me if I start screaming. You know what I mean? It will yeah. be just a clusterfuck. So I think if 100%. you can set that straight and do that, I think we have a higher chance of getting out of there where our life and whatever yes. we're trying to do. Exactly, and that's what I said to him. With it. Mm -hmm. I think he understands. I like that Fredo's been stepping up, though. I, I see, you know, he's becoming more mature, you know? Yeah. The things he's doing. Anyhow, we'll see if he sticks with it. Mm. And I like uh, Nigel's attitude as well towards things, you know? Like, he has a lot of knowledge. I can see that. But when he's getting told that somebody else is running, he's following. And I think that's what didn't happen the other day with the other S plus from what mm -hmm. Fredo said. Um, he had issues with Jay not listening and just running off to do his own thing. And I said that's Jay. when that's when you need to tell Jay. people Yeah. Was Jay around? Yeah, he was. Um Okay. And I said that's when you just need to tell people to shut up and listen. You're in charge, you're doing it. Like council's gonna back you and you do that shit if we put you in charge. Mm -hmm. Because it, it is what we've like it's our word that we've asked. 
this is what we you said have a guys. chance to, yeah but you have a stronger stronger chance to succeed even if the one who's calling the shots are doing a wrong call and you know that you just follow it yep. you have a stronger chance to succeed anyways you know don't question it just do it you see it's maybe the wrong move but just follow the lead because if everybody follows the lead like you have a higher percentage chance of getting out of there yeah exactly and me and you know this shit you know what i mean but it's hard when you're in the middle of it i know it myself like i know that if somebody calls something i see it's the wrong move i will be you know against it you know it's wrong of me being that but i think it's like a human thing and you need to learn in the process getting better at just shut the fuck up and let them do it still if you know it's wrong yeah but that's why the leader of that of that thing should also um know to puff out their chest and tell you to shut the fuck up right mm -hmm, mm -hmm. is because at, at the start of the job you were there and that person was told that they're being put in charge. Yeah, so you yeah. shouldn't feel a certain type of way when they tell you to shut the fuck up. Nope, you Cause, shouldn't. Because they, they don't mean that with like any kind of aggression. It's just, it's no, so no, much no. easier to tell people to shut up on the radio than it is to be like, okay, but I need to do this because of, no, just fuck that. Tell them to shut the fuck up and just move on. Yeah. And I'm and gonna get fucking pressed about that. Everything happens in a split second, you know? So you need to be quick of what you're doing and you don't have time to discuss shit, you know? You should yeah. just do it should be in your backbones basically you know automatically this michael look, look at this mm -hmm. fucking gang shit you get included in on now with it all huh we're trying to better seaside uh, uh, hr and hr slash pr putting in fucking work this week mm -hmm. i did have to issue myself another 10 strike points today though so, so that happened. I think we're getting better and better, and I see we have more people awake. You know, they're more active and they're more down to do whatever. Uh, at the same time, I feel like our business side of CSAT as well is kind of like growing. So I feel like that is good as well. Mm. We need to kind of like balance it out. Did a check and use paper. I doubt they're going to be in there if there's a cop that fucking doing their thing but good thing we're not dealing with the blue bags yeah the what so the higher oh yeah i get what you oh, sorry i didn't hear you i yeah. got you now yeah yeah it clicked okay nothing in there we're gonna take a while to be processed yeah maybe I'm gonna go try and call Draco and see if they actually got away off the fuck. Maybe they got away. Go? I would have expected uh, them to be on radio by radio now. Like... Yeah, or maybe they're still in some active hiding. Oh, not looking good. Have I blood himself out? Ever. I don't get strike points to blood out. Just a, a shit staring thing I'm doing for him. Strike points are absolutely meaningless. It's just a little mess around thing. Playing more into the HR part. Fuck you. Uh, well. Another day, another another seaside shootout. <laughs> yeah. Does it have to end in a shootout? A meth run, most likely. Meth run. Yeah. Most likely, yeah. One of those because uh, it's aggressive, or because that's just how it is. Big investment and aggressive. So PD are aggressive straight off the bank, off the back. At, can I speak? Um, so as soon as they see you, the chances are you're getting pitted and fucking spiked and all that kind of shit. And um, there's a lot of money that goes into these things. So you kind of really want to get it out if you can. And uh, when you get onto the later ones, like um, what KJ was talking with the blue bags, you get drug trafficking for that shit and raids. But that's why PD are well aware that Chances are high that these things are going to end up being fucking shootouts. 
right. Yeah. And then so, it depends, you know, how how PD feels that day, you know. Sometimes they just smash into a wall in 150 miles per hour and then, you know, the heat is on. Very um high stakes, high reward kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. And the investments are kind of like, you know, for run, like the value of the goods you're traveling with is like, I don't know, three to 400 K. Mm. All right. But just so you're aware, you, you need um, 50 pillows of map, right? Right. So for example, from a, a table, usually you get one, sometimes two. So if you think about it, right, you're looking at an average of about between 30, uh, 30 to 40, more, more towards the 40. So it's a massive investment if you're doing it yourself as yeah. well. And if you're cooking on a table, you can only cook once an hour. Yeah. That's if you have two tables. Yeah, if you have two. Sorry. If you have one, you can cook every two hours. So yeah. it's it's a long process, you know, to be able to get Big to where you are up. to do a run. Big outlay of money. High risk with what you're getting. Then you need to complete it because then the reputation with the guy you're doing your work for is going up and yeah. he will pay you more money. But if you get caught, you know, he will not like it. Yeah. I think I might go to bed here. I'm fucking cooked. Yeah, that's fine. I had to wake up at what would be fucking 7.30 in the morning for me. And it is currently, it feels like 10.41 p.m. Hmm. That is what, something. What a day. It was a day and I didn't have to use the blood pressure meds. Look at me go. That is good. Wow. I guess you have some business to attend to, Michael. Just call me if you... If there's nothing, you know, you can just hang yeah. out. I'm down to small talk. All right. Come on, dude. Well, I'll Maybe see you uh, tomorrow. I'll t yeah, mm -hmm. I'll talk to Jazz. I'll get you sorted out. All right. I'll uh, fix up your shitty contract. Fucking chat GPT right. fucking contract ass. Uh, make sure you email me over all the stuff too, so I can start spreadsheeting stuff and actually keep track of it. Yeah, sure. All right. See you later. Bye. Bye. All right. See ya. What do you think of my car? Look at it. I like it. I told you. Like, you, you, it's looks nice. nice wait, wait till you look at. Fucking... Look at the spoiler. Oh god. For me, you just got plowed by that car. Look at the spoiler. Not a single shit was given. Tell me that's not me. That is you. That is actually you. <laughs> Oh, uh, this is great. I like your car, man. Your car is good. Thanks. Uh, see you tomorrow. Right. See you tomorrow. Right. Well, that's something for today. Reggie from fucking HRPR to fucking CEO. The fuck did you do to the car? Well, this is supposed to be for jobs, but um, I've changed it. Now it get, gets blacked out for jobs. <clears throat> From HRPR to CEO. All right, I need to copy this contract so I can fix it. Only slight fixes that need to be done. Where am I going? Contract. Copy. And we got to see Benji fucking Sag farming. That's something. Wow. Benji got to Sag farm. Cute. Right, I'm gonna send you guys over to Kung Fu. Make sure you guys show Kung Fu some love. I'll be back to it again tomorrow. Just a reminder on the 25th, 
we doing my degenathon so if you guys if you're generous enough and are able to um can help me with the money that i'm gonna have to fucking outlay for the move which is eight and a half grand now i'm sick of this money going up i tell you what Anyway, I appreciate you guys. Hope you guys have a great day, night, morning, whatever. Discord shows you when I'm live, who I'm playing, all that kind of good shit. Have a good night, guys. Make sure you show Kong Fu some love, please. Bye-bye.